back, streets back. All right. Boing, boing. Good morning, good evening, good night, and welcome to the Ibble Bit Show. It's the one and only CJ Byron, like Lord Byron. It is your boy, uh, uh, Smiley. We'll be covering the top trendy stories each day in under five minutes, so stay in the know with us. New York's attorney general issued an essential challenge to the National Rifle Association on Thursday, arguing in a lawsuit that years of runaway corruption, misspending, and demanded a dissolution of the nation's most powerful gun rights lobby. While the legal confrontation could take years to play out, it constitutes yet another deep blow to an organization whose legendary political clout has been diminished by infusing financial distress. Oh my Lanta, Devin Cold-Blooded Booker of the Phoenix Suns hit a buzzer beater shot over not one, but two or three defenders and a shocking breathtaking win over the Clippers. Talk about ice water in his veins. That young man is on his way to being a show stopper. He's a bad <laughs> mamma jamma. <laughs> oh, yo, what? Yo, I, hey, literally, I'm shooting out the gym right now. Is it possible to test positive for COVID in the morning and test negative for it in the evening? Yes, Ohio Governor Mike DeWine took a PCR test for COVID in the morning before a scheduled meeting with President Trump on Thursday and tested positive. He went home to Columbus later that evening and completed another PCR test. The results were negative. The PCR test is one of the most accurate tests for COVID. So we're left asking, how, Sway? Uh, no, I have not had my brain shoved up through my nose. I don't no. think I want to either. It's but. fun sometimes. Is it? From uh, what I've twice, heard. though? I wouldn't do it Third twice. Third time's a charm. Tiger Woods' opening round at the PGA Championship wasn't perfect. The 82-time PGA Tour winner has played just a handful of times so far this season. He, however, is still right in the mix after posting two under 68 in the early wave Thursday, which parked the lowest round in major championships since 2012. I guess he's having Ibble of trouble. Get <laughs> it? A, a bit? Ibble? Yeah. I'm amazing. We're going to roll with that, y'all. A couple of officers from a police department in New Mexico responded to a woman's call after she found a python in her car tire, and they managed to rescue the reptile. Officers from Rosewell Police Department discovered a three-foot-long python in the car and found it in the tire by the engine. I guess you can say things were kind of scary. See what I did there? Scary? I'm s s scared. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists have finally answered one of the enduring questions about Stonehenge, the famed monument in southern England. Where did the iconic boulders known as sarins that were used to create this prehistoric wonder come from? The century-old question is apparently over. A study published in the Journal of Science Advantage located the source of one of the stones in Westwood, a forest in the area down about 25 kilometers. You ever been to Stonehenge? I don't think so. Is that like Stonebrook, like the store where we go get like the chairs and the massages and no, we're not talking about no. Some oh, no. Yep. Okay. Thanks for tuning in to the Ibble Bit Show, the best daily show on YouTube. If you like the show, make sure you subscribe the video and don't forget to download our app. It's pretty awesome. Stay classy, stay sassy. And remember, next time with me, your boy, Robert, uh, uh, smile and CJ Byron, like Lord Byron. And we will see y'all next time. Bye. Have a beautiful time.